Yeah, thank you for the introduction. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jeho Kim from Virginia Tech. I'm happy to be here to introduce our work today. The title of this talk is Elevating Garbage Collection Interference Through Spatial Separation in All Fresh Way. Okay, this is joint work with Kwang Yeon Nim, Young Don Chung, Professor Sung Jin Lee, Professor Chang Woo Min, and Professor Sam No. Okay, let me start. All flash away is storage infrastructure that contains only flash memory drivers. It is also called solid state away. Here is an example of all flash away product. Typically, one storage node is composed of large number of SSD and multiple network ports. So let me show you a list of enterprise SSD currently on the market. As you can see, sequential read and write performance are in the few gigabyte per second range. Actually, it is a fairly high performance. OK, let me show you the bandwidth trend for network and storage interface. X-axis shows years and y-axis is bandwidth. As you can see, network interface bandwidth increases fast. Storage interface bandwidth growth even faster. So we can sell storage throughput increase quickly and storage isn't bottleneck like anymore in our system. So let's see again flash storage, flash, a flash array product. If we configure all flash away using this high performance SSD, throughput of a few high end SSD can easily saturate to network throughput. So let me summarize current trend and challenges for this work. Performance, as, performance of SSD is fairly high, and total throughput of a few SSD easily saturated network bandwidth of all flash away nodes. However, garbage collection of SSD is still performance bottleneck. Oh, sorry. So, what is an ideal way to manage in the way of SSDs within current trend? Before introducing our solution, I'm going to give you a brief the comparison of previous solutions. This is typical system layer with a traditional weight. Traditional weight employ in place update for serving write request. By doing this, it is just susceptible to performance drop due to garbage collection of weight inside SSD because of random write from host. So there were previous solutions to optimize the traditional weight approach, but there are still limitations. To overcome drawback of traditional weight, the log-based weight approach has been, have been studied. Log-based weight employ log-structured weight to reduce the garbage collection of weight inside SSDs. However, log-structured weight involve host-level garbage collection the garbage collection relies on the idle time. If there was no idle time, garbage collection will cause performance drop. Oh, sorry. So this is a well-known drop of log structures, right? So there were also several previous solutions, but they are still have limitations. Now we consider performance of a typical log-based weight, where it consists of eight SSDs. For workload, we use random write request continuously for two hours. Here is a performance result. X axis is time and y axis is a throughput. We observe that garbage collection start around 1,000 seconds after garbage collection performance fluctuate due to garbage collection IU and user IU. So, what can we, how can you avoid the performance variation due to garbage collection in all fresh way? So, our solution is SWAN. So SWAN stands for spatial separation within an array of a SSD on a network. So we have a three goals in this work. The first, we provide sustainable throughput up to network bandwidth of all fresh away. Second, we elevate garbage collection interference between user IU and garbage collection IU. The last one, we find an efficient way to manage the way of SSD in all fresh away. Our approach is to minimize garbage collection interference through special separation. So I'm going to give you a brief architecture of SWAN. So we divide the way of SSD into front end and back end. We call it spatial separation. 
And Swan employ log structured write to make a band only manner, which is the flash friendly. So garbage collection effect is minimized by this spatial separation. So we focus on how to implement spatial separation in all fresh way. And we compare temporal separation and spatial separation in terms of performance and efficiency. So I'm going to give you architecture of Swan. For spatial separation, front end serve all write request while back end perform garbage collections. So Swan employs segment based or Segment based append only write, which is fresh friendly. And we also maintain the mapping table. And Swan is implemented in block IO layer. OK, I'm going to give you an example of handling IO in Swan. So Swan receives all write, all IO requests from block IO interface. And we maintain logical and physical volume to manage array of SSD, OK, let's assume that the write request, read and write request arrive from black interface. The red rectangle, red circles indicate the write request, and green circle indicate write read request. Uh, so requests are placed in the logical volume according to the block number. Write requests are appended to, appended to a segment and distribute SSD with parity for recovery, like late parallelism. And the, in case of a read request, the read request will be served by any of SSD they're holding the request data block, like this. OK, I'm going to give you a procedure of IO handling in more detail. Front end, okay, let, let me assume. Let's assume there are one front end and two back end. Each of them consists of three SSDs. Front end absorb all write requests in an append only manner to exploit full performance of SSDs. Like this. Yeah, when front end become full, the next empty back end become front end, and full front end become back end. Again, front, new front end serve all write request, like this. OK, when there was no more empty back end, the Swan's garbage collection is triggered to make free space. And Swan choose victim segment from one of back end and write buried the block within chosen back end. And finally, victim segment is trimmed, like this. Yeah, actually, train command is important for our Swan because the train command ensure writing a segment sequentially inside SSD. So all write requests and garbage collection are supposedly separated. So we conducted feasibility analysis of Swan. So in the analysis, we provide design choice, such as how many SSD in front end and how many back end in a fresh way. Uh, in addition, we also present an ultimate model of Swan's garbage collection. OK, please left to our paper for detail. OK, I'm going to show you evaluation setup. For evaluation, we use a typical radar, typical server with, with uh, up to nine SATA SSD, and we also use open channel SSD for monitoring internal activity on, of an SSD. Um, we compare Swan with a traditional RAID and log-based RAID. Please note that the 0 and 4 in, in name each of a scheme indicate presence or absence of parity. So for workload, we use micro benchmark and YCSC benchmark. I'll push it up to the, the rest of the more wizard for our paper. So now I'm going to go show you the result of random write performance for log rate and swan, zero. So in case of log rate, zero, after garbage collection starts, the bandwidth fluctuates 
because of the interference between garbage collection I.O. and user I.O. In case of Swan, Swan provides consistent performance even garbage collection start. Okay, let's take a closer look at performance result. So I'm gonna show you an analysis of low grade white performance in the experiment we used eight SSDs. So both left and right figure shows the throughput of low grade zero. In the left figure, we show individual throughput of all SSD. And the last row shows user observed, user observed the throughput. The blue line ind indicates the white throughput, while red line is with the throughput. So after garbage collection starts, red line increases while blue line the, the drop down since garbage collection incur with and white. So the performance fluctuate as all SSD involved in garbage collection. So in case of Swan's right performance, uh, we also measured the all individual throughput of all SSDs, and the last row, yeah, uh, ah, okay, sorry. So for Swan, this evaluation, we use one front end and four back end. Each of them consists of, consists of two SSDs. And to which we also measure all individual SSD throughput. Also, last row is user observed throughput. So, so as you can see, left side figure, front end only serve white request around, around 1,000 seconds to one or back end start garbage collection while front end handle write request. So note that only one back end involved in garbage collection. Yeah, this pattern goes when request arrive. So we can say SWAN separate write request and garbage collection. So here is the read latency for YCSTB C benchmark. So SWAN shows shortest, the, okay, uh, sorry. So X axis is time, the Y axis is the latency, especially tail latency. So SWAN shows Shortest retail latency and rate four and rate low rate four stop of long tail latency. So it shows spatial separation is effective for handling read request as well. Okay, I'm gonna give you the additional benefit with the Swan. So we can use a simple SSD even the benefit. So, so Swan can save cost and power consumption without compromising performance by adopting simple SSD, such as smaller DRAM size inside a SSD controller and smaller OPS space for saving the cost. Or um, we can use a block or a segment level FTL instead of uh, the page FTL, which, which will cause increased cost. Because of Swan always sequentially write, always the sequentially write data to a segment and trim a large chunk of data in the segment in the same segment at once. Yeah, actually it is the important or the good benefit. Okay, let me summarize, let me conclude our work. So we provide full write bandwidth of array of SSD up to network bandwidth limit. So we elevate garbage collection interference through spatial separation IO induced by application and garbage collection of all fresh away. Um, you introduce efficient way to manage SSD in all fresh away. Thank you for your attention. I'll be happy to take your question. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's a very interesting design. Yeah. I have, uh, while well, people are standing up, I have one question. Um, so you trim to let um, the uh, SWAN controller trims entire blocks to let the SSDs that they can do efficient garbage collection. Yes, right. But how do you tell these SSDs when it is time to actually perform the erasures? Do you control it in somehow? Uh, because the, the, the host, the actually, Swan is implemented in host layer, mm -hmm. in the block layer. In, in. 
So the, when they always, we need to garbage collection, it means that we need to make free space. So the, we garbage collect in the, inside the, actually the host layer, but we still need to the, the cop, the copy to the, from the, the selected back and start to copy. And then we can send the trim command mm -hmm. by, from host. And does the trim command just trigger the SSD garbage yes, collection? Yes, right. Yeah, okay. that was the command, yeah, standard okay. command. Right. Yeah. Uh, hey, I'm uh, Imalin. I work for realtor.com. So a uh, standard way of solving this kind of problem is to introducing a scheduler, right? So schedule all the IOs. So I was just wondering, like, uh, why did you, like, go ahead with, uh, why did you decide to go ahead with uh, something like Swarm uh, as opposed to implementing sort of an IO scheduler that's more generalized? Uh, you mean, is it related to the scheduler? I'm uh, sorry, I, I cannot understand, fully understand. You mean... So, so one option is to just, uh, maybe if there are like write, and, uh, write or read workload, right? Uh, maybe right. slow down the garbage collection itself. Yes. Uh, so that could, we could have done that as opposed to uh, sort of like switching uh, like um, uh, between front end and back end SSDs, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So just wondering like, uh, why did you de why did you uh, decide to not to coordinate these IO, IO, IO operations as opposed to um, uh, uh, and and went where you know went, went with uh, SWAM? Uh -huh. Does it make sense? Uh, yeah, it's, so is yeah. it because of the simplicity? Because I think that because the SSDs has way less resources, so uh, it's much more harder to implement some sort of a, a generalized scheduler. And this, uh, the approach that you have taken might be like uh, yeah, much yeah. more easier given the resources constraint. Yeah, it makes sense, but it's a little it's a little bit hard to to implement in IO scheduler because it's, it's a, we need to control all a way of SSD and so. Yeah, actually, I understand your suggestion, but it's a little bit hard to the control all of SSD and array of SSD within scheduler. Uh, okay, I, I think it, it, yeah, okay. Perhaps we can take this <laughs> offline. Okay, let's thank the speaker again.